So when I first started making videos about uh, self-hosting and home servers and, and Docker and Portainer and all of that sort of thing, I relied very heavily on Open Media Vault as kind of a stepping stone to get me introduced to how different things worked with self-hosting. Over the last couple of years, I've made a few different videos about Open Media Vault 4 and then immediately 5. Uh, and then last year when 6 came out, of course, I made a video or two about that as well. Part of that installation process included installing a script called OMV extras that did exactly that. It installed some extra things to make Open Media Vault more user friendly, and that included Docker, Portainer, and eventually Yacht. In fact, we can even see that if we take a look at this Open Media Vault 6 Alpha setup and first look video that I released uh, a year ago, June 29th. So almost, oh God, that was, that was almost two full years ago when I made this uh, Open Media Vault 6 alpha video. And here we can see that we've got Docker, Portainer, and Yacht available to us via OMV Extras. So here recently, I've had a few different people reach out to me um, and mention that OMV Extras no longer has Docker, Portainer, and Yacht in it. It's changed quite a bit. And people have asked me to make a follow-up video to show how to get those things installed without having to use OMV Extras. So what I wanna do in this video is show what it looks like to install OMV Extras and what it takes to get Docker installed and that sort of thing. Now, I'm starting from a fresh install of the newest version of Open Media Vault 6. Uh, installing Open Media Vault is very straightforward. I've made several videos about it, as I mentioned earlier. Um, so if you're not sure how to install Open Media Vault 6 or Open Media Vault just in general, I would go back and take a look at some of those videos. And then once you have just the basics of Open Media Vault installed, come back and pick up where we're about to take off. So here we are, we're looking at a fresh install of Open Media Vault 6. Uh, the default username is admin and the default password is Open Media Vault, everything lowercase. Once you've got that, you can go ahead and pr press log in. We're gonna say never right there. And if we come over here to system, there's plugins here, but again, there's none of that OMV extras uh, that we saw over here on this video, like we saw when we installed that script. So let's go ahead and actually install that script and then kind of go from there. So what I wanna do is grab this IP address, like so, I'm gonna open up a terminal window and I'm going to SSH into uh, my Open Media Vault server. So I'm gonna do SSH root, Oops, at one, like so, and then hit enter. And because this is the first time I'm connecting to this server via SSH, they're saying, hey, are you sure? And I'm gonna say yes. So I'll enter my root password. And here we are. Now we are SSH'd into our OMV server. What I wanna do though is actually um, clear my screen and make this bigger so that it's easier for you guys to see. So if we go to omvextras.org, I believe, there we go, right here is the script we're gonna use. I'm just gonna copy that and paste it up there just to make sure that this little icon there doesn't show up. That's weird, I don't know, it's always been there. I don't know why. So what I wanna do is just run that. And basically this is just going to install the Open Media Vault Extras or the OMV Extras plugin uh, in our Open Media Vault setup. Okay, so just a couple of moments after starting the install, we're done, we're ready to go. So what we can do now is come back to our Open Media Vault uh, install. I'm just gonna do a Control Shift R to refresh. Of course, now it wants me to log back in and that's fine. And now we've, our page has reloaded and that's great. Let's go ahead, we'll just click this apply. It's, it's fine. We haven't done anything in here yet. So I just wanna check that just so it goes away. What I wanna look at though is over here or down here, either one, take you to the same place. It says Docker repo, um, but it, let me let me close that, there we go. Now it says Docker repo, please install the Open Media Vault Compose to provide Docker functionality within the OMV web interface. So what I wanna do here, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and check this, mar or check this box and I'm gonna click save. And then what we're gonna do once this page has saved is I'm gonna go back over to the plugins page and look for that Open Media Vaults Compose plugin. Okay, so now that we have our Docker repo uh, plugin installed from OMV Extras, what we wanna do is go over here to plugins and then do a search for Open Media Vault Compose like it mentioned earlier. We're gonna click install and then say yes. Okay, so that should have it installed with a little glitch there in the middle, but hopefully now we have that plugin installed. So if we go over here to services, 
Now we have Compose listed over here. Um, and if we take a look, oops, what we want to do is click on Settings. And it says that Docker is not installed. So um, let's go ahead and first create a shared folder here uh, so that it has somewhere to store some stuff. Um, and you could, uh, you know, select a file system. So this is the root file system, and I don't like to put a lot of stuff there. So actually, so we're gonna go to file systems. We're gonna create a new file system. We're gonna use ext4. You could use uh, butterfs or ext3, whatever. Ext4 is, is probably the most um, widely used uh, from my understanding anyway. So that's what we're gonna go with. We're gonna select a device. We're gonna select our, our additional drive there and we'll click save. And then we'll give this a minute to, to do its thing. And then we'll come back and actually create a, sh a Docker folder. There we go. So now we should be able to close this. I'm gonna do that. Um, so we're just going to uh, mount the file system here. Um, so now we've got our, our, our file system mounted. That's great. We're gonna go ahead and make sure that all this looks good. So it's just gonna kind of restart some of those things and click save. And this is all because as it turns out, it looks like Open Media Vault is trying to create their own like portainer alternative, something built into Open Media Vault by default. Um, so let's go over here. Now that we've got our, our file systems mounted, let's create a shared folder. Um, we're gonna call this Docker. We're going to select our file system uh, of the uh, this one right here, the one that we just created. This all looks fine. I'm gonna say everybody can read and write just for the sake of demonstration here. You can adjust that to your needs for security purposes. But I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Probably get another yellow pop-up box saying, hey, don't forget to save this, just like so. So I'll say, uh, yes, go ahead and do that. That's fine. Cool. So now let's go back to our services and to compose and to settings. And let's select the Docker folder that we just created. And then we'll click save. And we're going to say reinstall Docker and then say yes. Whatever you see here may be different than what you see on your computer, because I've been doing some testing in between each of these different takes, because as per usual, Open Media Vault has been very, very finicky for me this morning. So, um, so hopefully this will do what we needed to do and then we can move forward. A few moments later. Okay, so we'll click close. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just say apply up here and say yes. They, uh, they've added a lot of extra steps just to get Docker up and working, and it looks like uh, that still didn't work. We're gonna try this again. Oh, no, nope, I lied. I just needed to refresh the page. So now, <laughs> after all of those steps, now Docker is installed. Now, I mentioned earlier that I believe that they're doing this, that they've removed Portainer and Yacht because they're doing their own kind of built-in thing. And if we come back to Compose, um, we can take a look at files. Uh, they've got containers here. Uh, they've got stats, volumes, networks, Docker files. And I, again, I believe this is all just so that they can start uh, having their own kind of integrated Docker solution. Um, but the way they're going about it isn't great, in my opinion. They have really overcomplicated this just to get Docker working so that we can deploy Docker containers and that sort of thing. So now that we have Docker up and running on Open Media Vault after a lot of finickiness that seems to be very standard with Open Media Vault 6 for some reason, uh, now we can do things like install Portainer. So again, we're logged in. Let's, let's do a Docker uh, PS just to make sure Docker is in fact running. So that's good. Now, there are a couple of different ways that you can install Docker. In fact, there's a few different ways you can install Docker. Um, you can use the Community Edition, which is what I would recommend for most people. However, there are some perks to using the, the, the Business Edition, and you can get five free licenses of Business Edition for free if you go over to Portainer's Take 5 URL. I'll try to link that in the description down below. Um, so you can use the Business Edition or the Community Edition. We're going to use Community Edition. Um, and then there's also the option to use Docker on port 9443 so that it has an SSL on it. That's completely up to you. You can look over at uh, Install Portainer, all right? And then we can come over to their website, Docs. I'm not sure why we didn't just come here. Install Portainer Business Edition. 
uh, set up a new Portainer CE server, Docker standalone. There's also Swarm and Kubernetes, whichever you want to use there. Um, but we're going to install Portainer CE with Docker on Linux. There's a multiple, multiple ways to get into here. But basically, this is the new supported method. Basically, the only thing here is we're using port 9443 instead of 9000. So either way you want to go about that is perfectly acceptable. Let's just go ahead and copy this open our terminal here and then go press enter. So now it's gonna go ahead and pull everything that it needs to deploy the portainer container inside of Docker, just so that we've got a user interface to deploy future Docker containers. So here it says that it's done. So let's come back over to here. Let's grab this IP address, open a new window, a new tab, 9443 and hit enter. Reload, there we go. Oops, that's why I didn't put HTTPS in front of that like so, and then we can say advanced and proceed. Um, and then uh, as you're going through and setting up Portainer, um, please don't use admin as your username, change it to something else. It's just bad practice to use default usernames when deploying things like this, especially on infrastructure. So I've entered my username, my password. Uh, you can allow collection of anonymous statistics if you want. That's completely up to you. I'm just gonna click create user and then click start it, get started. And if we open this up and look at our containers, here we can see the portainer is running. And those are basically the steps you need to go through to get uh, Docker up and running by installing OMV extras and then installing a couple of extra plugins and then installing Docker via those plugins. Uh, of course, you could always do all of this through command line as far as installing Docker. But uh, people have asked, how do you install Docker and Portainer through Open Media Vault? Um, and while I didn't install Portainer necessarily via Open Media Vault, uh, we did manage to get uh, OMV Extras and Docker installed via Open Media Vault. So um, installing Yacht, if you wanted to do that, uh, is kind of the same process that we just went through for Portainer. You're just going to go to Yacht's website, get their install script, and then run that script via SSH. However, make sure that if you do that, uh, if you've already got Portainer up and running, make sure that you change the ports as necessary as to not have any kind of uh, port conflict. Uh, if, and of course, if you've got questions about any of this, leave that in the comment section down below. I'd be happy to answer any of that. And while you're down there, I would love to know what your thoughts are on the way Open Media Vault has started transitioning uh, away from being more community oriented, again, with Portainer and Yacht and kind of going more closed source with having their own built in uh, Docker management platform in Open Media Vault. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on all of that. But I think this video has frustrated me enough and hopefully I've managed to edit it in such a way that it's not quite as frustrating for you. So um, again, I'd love to hear all your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below. Links to everything will be in the description and I will talk to you guys in the next video.